Since the year 2000, astronauts have been taking pictures of our planet from space. As slowly man launched satellites, more accurate pictures became available. While several geological satellites use reflected light from the sun to passively take photos, SAD uses a different technique to capture somewhat unearthly pictures. So sit back and relax as we, the stargazers, answer the question, what on earth is synthetic aperture radar? SAR is a device that produces energy and uses the reflected echoes to collect data. The role of frequency and wavelength is also important. It determines how the signal interacts with surfaces and penetrates mediums. These wavelengths are referred to as bands with different letter designations. The K, C, P and S bands each have a specific range of frequency and wavelength. Further, there are various sensors on both SARS that have each different functions. One important one among them is interferometric SAR or INSAR. An antenna on both the satellite emits microwave pulses to the surface of the Earth and records the echoes that bounce back. The images captured by INSAR are called interferograms. This can be achieved at night or in cloudy weather as these microwaves can penetrate through clouds. There are future plans to launch more sensors including the joint NASA Indian Space Organization satellite. One might wonder why are SAR images so different? To understand that, let's first understand what is polarization. Polarization refers to the orientation of the plane in which the transmitted electromagnetic wave oscillates. By using this concept, SAR polarizes the waves to collect signals. Different surfaces scatter light differently and are sensitive to particular types of scattering. For example, rough surfaces are sensitive to VV type scattering. The amount of signal received may change according to different scattering types. For example, a C band penetrates only the top layer of trees, whereas an L or P band signals will have deeper reach. In an interferogram, in accordance with the signal received, the color of that part will also change. INSAR also captures different images of the same place at time intervals which are then compared to deduce several attributes about the land, such as landslides, sinking land or even earthquakes. For example, the earthquake in Landers, California. It has also noted the flow of ice in Greenland which has quickened due to the current worrying issue of global warming. More applications of SAR are yet to be discovered in the coming years. Till then, let's keep our heads high in the starry sky and take snapshots in our brain as we continue to stargaze.